Hey there, I'm here today talking to Cree at Home all about video production. Today, I'm sitting down with Cree at Home of Cree Co Productions to talk all things video and what a production company actually does. So, hello. Hello. And I, I, I actually have to give you a plug first. Okay. About Spark. Oh, okay. So can you, can you share with me? Um, she also owns a company called Spark, uh, and it is a women's, I don't know what, a women's retreat mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. that does, you know, a lot of in-person um, events. And of course, because of COVID, a lot of things had to be put on hold. Yeah. Um, we're actually only doing this video today because unfortunately, your first trip to Africa got postponed. Yes. Because right now, um, the African nation is really having a tough time with this virus. So um, it will come back. So uh, look for it. Uh, where can they find you for the Spark? Sparkwomensretreat.com. Okay. And uh, we do an annual retreat at Zion National Park. Yes. So this September, we'll host the fifth annual retreat, and uh, we'll have packages for sale in March. So I'm pretty excited about it. Yay! Yes. Yeah, so they, like, rent out this entire almost complex, mm -hmm. and it is everything that you can imagine from... Uh, leadership to financial planning to, uh, you know, trust exercises yeah. <laughs> to, you know, rock climbing, horseback riding. I mean, any, anything that you can imagine, I mean, and sprinkle in some, some yoga and some Cree magic. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you will not want to miss it. And I think you guys sell out every year. Yeah, we do. We sell out every year. Um, we do, we have workshops that are included in the package pricing. Uh, as Eileen mentioned, access to outdoor activities. It just like the women who show up every year for themselves and for each other always blows my mind. Yeah. That's what makes it so special. Yeah. 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 So I just had to get that out of the way um, because I think it's so vital for women to surround themselves with other women who lift them up. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just kind of wanted to start with that because, yeah. you know, that, that is still a big part of uh, who Cree is, is just supporting women. And that kind of leads us into Cree Co-Productions because really you are focusing on helping women mm -hmm. get their voices heard. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, video is such a powerful medium. Uh, and I think we've learned that lesson this last year. You know, if you want to get yourself out there or set yourself apart or uh, just provide another way for people to know who you are yeah. and to get to know you, video is the way to go. And that's really what Creek Co Productions is. We do other services, but at the center of it all is video so that you can be in a coffee shop in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> sitting down with a friend of yours having an interview and yeah. still be able to reach your audience. Yeah. So. so what, I mean, honestly, what kind of made you shift to this coming from, you know, I mean, you're still doing events, mm -hmm. but from coming from events, mm -hmm. how did you come up with doing a production company or starting a production company? The production company chose me. I did not choose it. <laughs> That's really how it happened. You know, normally I have I owned and still own, I mean, I, I have no idea what the future of Leadership Excursion Company is, but it's an event-based business, and when COVID hit, that all went away. Right. Like, like overnight went away. It really did. Yeah. Um, I happened to launch Creco Productions a year ago, so last January. Okay. And uh, clients just needed help with their you know, video, with their websites, with their marketing, growing their business. And what was happening is people were just coming to me, asking me for those services and for that help. And I just said yes to everything. 
So Creco Productions has really taken on a life of its own, which is really weird for me. I'm used to sitting down and putting down a business plan and right. knowing what I'm going Map, to do. Mapping it all out. Absolutely being a, you know, I'm, I like to be prepared. That helps me be comfortable. So I like to be prepared ahead of right. time. Uh, 2020 threw everything right. you know, upside down for right. all of us, but especially for me. And so that's really what that story is. Yeah, I, mean, I, I I still feel like I need to sit down and put a business plan together because I haven't <laughs> even done that yet. <laughs> well, the the amazing thing is is you are such a giver. I mean, anytime I have asked you for help for guide, I mean, before the production company, for guidance in an area because you come from an IT background, mm -hmm. so you were right there with, you know, don't make it too difficult. You know, keep it simple. Do things that, you know, are going to, uh, you know, make you happy. Just, you know, just anything that you possibly could to help me. And, you know, and I think this is just, you paid it forward so many times over and over again that I think it's just coming back to you in spades because, yeah. you know, I mean, I probably shouldn't be doing this video because she's getting really busy. And so <laughs> I'm not, you know, I mean, you know, don't bother her too much. I'm just kidding. Right. But I, I mean, but it is, it is amazing to see the people that are coming to you and saying, you know what, you know, you helped me in this time when I didn't have a direction to go. And now, you know, they're supporting you. Yeah, it's and I awesome. think it's amazing. Yeah, it's been it's been an incredible journey. And for me, the lesson in all of this has been, first of all, you have you know, I'm an experienced person, not just in one thing. And so I was able to fall back on this experience. But it's also a lesson in listening, paying attention to what's going on around you and it, for all the bad things and the difficult and challenging times that we've been through in the last year, I've learned to listen. Right. And that really is why Creco Productions is growing. And I ha I'm getting more clients and more work is because I paid attention to that. Right. And I really just fell into it. Like, I had to. <laughs> I really had to. And so it's, it's, been, it's been wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, everything or not everything. The question I ask everyone yeah. uh, that I interview is, how did you end up in Las Vegas? You know, I ended up in Las Vegas. Um, I have a really weird story. So I ended up in Las Vegas. I moved here in high school initially. Um, I just had a unique upbringing, and I ended up moving here to live with my older sister. In high school, I had to I had to move here. I had no choice, and I lived here. I graduated from high school here, and then I moved away. And like a lot of people, the first time I lived here wasn't my choice. The second was more my choice, and um, I never thought I'd live in Las Vegas for as long as I have. Yeah, I've been here for over 20 years now, and I wouldn't live anywhere else. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's my story, and I think something that people don't talk about a lot is. Do you have? Do you know a lot of people who move away and come back? Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, well, and it's like they, I don't know. It's like we have this stigma of being a stopping point between this and that, mm -hmm. you know. And so they're like, once I get out, I'm never coming back there. But then they end up like, you know, other places weren't exactly what I thought. Yeah. And I mean, and I have so many people that tell me. Uh, you know, Vegas is just the strip. Honestly, I mean, it really is a very friendly place. Mm -hmm. It's a very collaborative place. It's a place filled with a lot of people who, you know, think that community should be at the forefront, you know, of their business, of, you know, their lives. And I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I've lived here 40 plus years and I don't. <laughs> I know, and I don't think I could move away. I mean, yeah. we talk about it. You know, we, we, my husband gets, you know, offers for jobs. We could move here. We could move there. And then we go visit, and we're like, nah, we'll stay. Yeah. We'll stay put. 
Yeah, I so the things I love about Las Vegas is the community. You do such a great job yeah. of highlighting the community and all of the work that you do. You know, it's not just about moving here and buying a home here. But um, we're a young city, and right. the draw for me has also been, I feel like I've, I've grown with the city here. Yeah. You know, we have downtown is such a completely different place now than it was 20 oh years ago. Oh my gosh. We have the Smith Center, we have art here, we have culture. We've also experienced tragedy in our city. Yeah. Unfortunately, and so, but as a result of that, it's brought us all together. Um, you know, the, the groups that we, run in yeah How's that <laughs> the groups that we run in it is such a supportive place and so my story is i i choose to live here yeah because it's such an easy and good place to live my family's here um it's easy to do business here yeah. and connect with other people um there are times when i'm sitting in a room and the mayor is in the room with me I, i'm not Crazy. sure that that happens <laughs> anywhere else i don't think so you know well, or you're sitting in a restaurant and, you know, just random celebrities are sitting a few tables away. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, speaking of community, I want you to share, if you would, I know this is probably a little bit of a curveball because I didn't mention this. Bring it. But um, can you please share with me the nonprofit that you are currently part of their board? Oh, yes. Um, it's actually the Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Nevada. And is it, so is that a nonprofit? It's not. It's a chamber of commerce. Okay. Yes. Okay. But I have been involved with various nonprofits yeah. here in Las Vegas. Yeah. But yes, right now I do sit on the board for the Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Nevada. Um, if you are interested in being an inclusive person or business, yeah. um, the annual membership fee started $100. The people in that group, I'll tell you what, talk about a fun group and a supportive and collaborative group. Yeah. Um, that's something that I do enjoy being a part of. Yeah. I think it uh, just speaks to our city, too, mm -hmm. you know, that we really do have an inclusivity. I mean, in our circles, mm -hmm. anyway, you know, we have a very inclusive environment here. And uh, I just love that that you are a board member. I can't think of anybody better, honestly. Oh, thank you. Because, yeah, I just think that you bring so much yeah. to the table there. I'm a big believer in you get what you give. Yeah. And so if you want anything to come back to you, you really have to invest in the people around you. Um, yeah, and my big goal moving forward is to be more inclusive myself. Yeah. And to support other groups and communities in town so that I'm just not talking about it. Right. I'm doing it. So how would somebody um, join? Is there a website? There is. Okay. GLCCNV.com. Okay. You can join. Um, we, over the winter, our holiday gathering this past year, uh, we pre-recorded Cirque du Soleil performers. And so we had a whole performance. Um, the chamber delivered wine or drinks to our door, and we got to be on Zoom like everybody else. But it was that's so cool. We come up with some pretty unique ideas to yeah. bring people together. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you wish that people knew about Las Vegas that they don't? We've talked about it so much now. Um, it's the community. It's a big. It's a big city, but it's not. No. It's a small town feel. Yeah. Uh, if you, I will say this about Vegas, when you first move here, it's a little daunting. It's, it's tough, I think, to make connections. Yeah. Uh, but my advice to anybody who moves here is you have to be proactive about making those connections. And once yeah. you get plugged into your people, yeah. then doors will open for you. People are very supportive here and friendly and they'll go out of their way to help you. And I think that that's what people don't know about our city. Right. I, I agree. Yeah. And it's, so you, we have the reputation of that people drive into their garages, they close the door and nobody talks to their neighbors. Mm -hmm. But to Cree's point, if you look for community in Las Vegas, you will find it. I mean, honestly, you'll be overrun with activities to do mm -hmm. and people to meet and things to attend um, because we really do have a thriving um, you know nonprofit arena in town we have a lot of chamber events we have tons of women's organizations I mean we just have the gamut that I think people don't know about. we have the most diverse population in the United States 
So you will find everything and anything here. Yeah. You do have to go look for it. Now, to your point about shutting your garage yeah. door, <laughs> you can do that and people won't be mad at you. Right. Too. So if yeah. you, there are days when I see my neighbors walking around, I'm like, you know what, I have a meeting to go to or I just don't feel like talking to people today. Right. I can go to my garage and uh, do the bat cave thing and yeah. shut my garage door and people won't. Yeah, nobody's going to punish you no, for that. Nobody's going to punish you. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, anything we missed? Um, I don't think so. That's the latest and greatest with what I've been up to. Okay. Um, but it is such a pleasure working with you, and I love everything that you're doing. Thank you. And really highlighting what we've talked about today is yeah. the community. Um, there's so much going on in the city. It's still growing. Um, so, yeah, follow Eileen on the Real Las Vegas. Well, and seriously, if you need anything, I mean, for your business, if Cree can't do it for you, she knows someone who can. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm talking website. She helped me set up my newsletter templates. I, I mean, there's nothing that she cannot do. Um, what, what else, gosh, have you done for me? You've done video, you've done editing, didn't you've you, done... Didn't you ask me about the cost for therapy the last time we met? I think so, yes. <laughs> yes, I was having a very bad day. We were having a strategy session that felt more like a therapy session because I just <laughs> needed to take it from here and breathe and bring it back down. So she's good for that too, you know. So I mean, <laughs> she's, we're in this together. She's your one-stop shop. So, um, <laughs> but you know, seriously, reach out to her. Um, she will amaze you. Our strategy sessions are a lot of me brain dumping and her going in and sifting through everything and finding <laughs> what we can use. And, uh, you know, when we, we go through the whole editing process together, the writing script process, if, you know, you're somebody that needs help with that, she can go through that with you and create a clear voice for you and say, hey, you know what? I think this might be getting off track. Let's bring it, you know, back a little bit because what business owner does not go off track and think that, you know, they need to portray something that maybe they don't. So, uh, yeah, I mean, but whatever you need as far as your business is concerned, she is your girl. And if you're looking for a great group to get involved with for a women's retreat, she also does an amazing, amazing job with her Spark Women's Retreat. And eventually, Leadership Excursion Company will be back up and running and on their way to Africa. So she does it all. And if you want information about how to join the chamber, um, the Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Nevada. Gay, I don't want to say it wrong. Right. The Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Nevada, mm -hmm. if you're looking to join, um, she also is a great point of contact for them. So uh, until the next time, you might not see her on the interview or behind the camera, but trust me, she is there running the show. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone.